All of the fast food places been taken over by Taco Bell. But do you know what's crazy? Even talking about that too, it's like, um, do you remember watching iRobot when you were younger and thinking how like unrealistic that shit is? I think about yeah, how realistic that is yeah, in today's world. Yeah, exactly. There's a there's a movie that was in the '90s that fucking scares the shit out of me. It was a comedy when it came out, but it was um, um, it, Idiocracy. I've heard of that. I don't think I've watched it though. So like, it's like uh, people get frozen and they get put way in the future, and these people think like in the future, like they think like they're watering the plants with Gatorade because they think it needs electrolytes. And then he comes and is like, yo, you need to put water on that. And they think he's a genius and they make him present. Wow. But, it, but like, it was funny when it came out. But now I see all this fucking shit going on in the world today. I'm like, yeah, like, this is like it, it's a horror movie now. Like, I'm like, I see it. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's what's happening. Like, Well, and you know what's crazy, too? Um, and, you know, I know we like to keep the podcast a lot of times about, like, you know, we like to joke on topics and stuff. But, yeah. Um, have you ever read 1984 by George Orwell? No. Yes. Read it. Aces knows what I'm talking about. But um, I have a copy of the book and give it to you yeah. if you're yeah. in the reading. Yeah, I'll try it out. It's incredible. It was written in the 40s and um, George Orwell basically wrote about the world in 1984, 40 years prior to yeah. it actually happening. And though the world in 1984 was not what he predicted, if you look at the world in 2013, forward it is exactly what he predicted and the uh, thing is um like there's certain things they have in the movie right like you have like you walk into your bedroom and there's a screen on your wall that talks to you and it's already playing commercials as soon as you walk in your room all advertising and there's nothing you can do to turn it off and it read it it watches you it follows you it it you know what i mean and it's recording you all your conversations and that's exactly what we're doing right now like 1984 the book has been materialized into the common world except the only difference is in that book it was almost like a nazi like to tail totalitarian yeah totalitarian government where like this life was forced upon you as into where today's world we believe we need this type of life and we pay for it like we have our tracking devices we have our day slavery really yeah we have our devices on us day to day that do this thing yeah the way we walk into our bedroom we don't have a screen that turns on but we have it with us everywhere we go there's a tracking device in it there's all that you know what i mean so it's like we pay to live in the world of 1984 today. So if you can read the book and break down the ideologies, aside from looking at it like specifically to what it's saying, but break down the ideologies and look at the world today compared to it, it's like, it is insane how much our world today is like that book. What really hit yeah, home for me, man, is when uh, he spoke about uh, like yeah. music of like changing. Yeah. And it was going to be not instruments, real instruments. But synthetic synth sounds. Right. And that followed certain rhythmatic okay. keys in which... To trigger your brain oh, that you like to it. To trigger right? your brain that you like it. And it's exactly like so much of the music you yeah. hear today. Exactly. To the point where even people who respect good music even respect the music with no substance. Like, I'm telling you, 1984 George Orwell is a must-read because it is a sci-fi fictional novel written in the, the 40s. Classic, man. And what the world we live in now has become that. It's just, so it's in different ways. So it's not so direct of how it's become that, but it has become that indirectly. Yeah, I hope you have that book. I will. It's, it's an amazing read. And the, aside from that, the next, ma next amazing read I can suggest is Behold the Pale Horse by uh, ex-naval intelligence officer William Cooper. Did you do a couple shots? Pour a couple shots. Pour that shit. We got aces in the place right now. For who? We got Sean Burton in the place uh, right now. I want one. I'll take a shot. But um, Behold the Pale Horse, you can't even get the book physically. You can only get it on I have audio it on CD. I have the audio cassette burned onto, a seat, onto my computer. So I can send you that as well, and you can listen to it. It's narrated, and it sounds like garbage. But if you're open to the facts of what it drops to you, you will listen to it a number of times to catch everything, and it's very interesting. Yeah. And, um... We'll pass on, motherfucker. Oh, that's his. That's mine. Cheers. Cheers. But Behold the Pale Horse, 1984, two books you need to... Oh.
do is chase your shots. Just let it sit and like let it fucking. I just don't like my insides burning like that. Oh man.